so are classified depending upon that which uh, stage of the project they are being prepared okay there are a numerous stage in every projects okay from the beginning of the project to the end of the project even uh, before the beginning there are numerous uh, stages in the project so at which point of that particular stage the estimate is prepared based upon that the estimate can be classified okay remember this <clears throat> So, uh, as far as our estimating and costing is concerned, the various uh, stages of the projects are first is the pre-planning, that is the preliminary planning of that particular project. Second is the cost benefit, that is the analysis of the benefit we are getting from that particular projects. Third is the after the analysis of the cost and the benefits start, uh, then we are going to start that particular project. And after the start of the project, the uh, definitely there will be the end of the project. So. As far as estimating and costing is concerned, these four stages are important, okay? There are numerous other stages in the project, uh, construction projects, okay? But uh, these four stages are uh, important as far as the estimating and costing is concerned. So, first of all, okay? okay uh, so first of all suppose i am a uh, contractor okay i am a contractor i want to build a particular uh, suppose three or four story apartment at the particular site okay so what i am what i am going to do i am going to pre-plan that particular projects okay i don't have detailed uh, planning okay i am just uh, assuming i am just doing the pre preliminary analysis or preliminary planning of that particular project suppose i have a a uh, particular uh, 400 square feet area at a show colony okay i want to build a project of up to the uh, three story apartment with a two apartment or two flats at a each story okay so this is my preliminary planning okay i do not have details of the plan okay i just have what be what should be the built up area of my projects and what should be the number of uh, stories or a number of floors and uh, what should be the number of uh, apartments at that particular floor okay or if I'm a contractor and want, uh, or if I'm a contractor and, and I want to build a particular uh, hospital building, okay. So uh, in that case, uh, the uh, preliminary examination will be the number of beds, okay, number of beds uh, to be provided. Or if I'm building a hostel, then the uh, unit will be the number of students to be accommodated, okay. So, uh, depending upon that particular project, I do not have detailed uh, info about that particular project. I only have the preliminary information. From that particular preliminary information, I am going to do the approximate estimate. Okay, I am going to do the, I am going to calculate the cost of that particular project approximately. Okay, I am a contractor, I want to build a uh, apartment building. In that same vicinity or in that same uh, area, I have built another uh, four or three apartment. So, considering or referring the cost of that particular other three apartments, I am going to uh, calculate the approximate cost of the I am going to calculate the approximate cost of my the uh, new building okay i have already built three or four apartments in the same area from uh, from that particular area uh, for that particular uh, cost of that particular building and the area or a built up area of that particular building i'm going to calculate the approximate cost of my particular uh, proposed building okay yeah i fixed that there was a technical issue that's it was a uh, video is not clear okay So don't worry about that. Um, let me fix this. Okay, just a minute. Okay, uh, all the issues have been solved. So. From the uh, preliminary uh, rates of that particular building, I'm building, I'm going to calculate the approximate cost of the new structure, okay? From that particular cost, suppose I'm building a, a three-story apartment with a two apartment at each level of the 400 square feet area. 
the cost of that particular building approximate cost of that building uh, comes 200 lakhs okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, analyze the uh, particular benefits i'm getting from that particular project okay i'm going to sell that particular apartments uh, in a three or four months or one year so i'm going to approximately calculate what what will be the market rate at that particular point and uh, how, how much benefit i'm going to uh, acquire from that particular project okay suppose the uh, uh, I'm going to sell that particular apartment for a 250 lakhs. Okay, the construction approximate construction cost is 200 lakh, I'm, uh, and uh, the approximate uh, selling cost is a 250 lakhs. So I'm getting the profit of the 50 lakhs. Okay, so if I am a uh, contractor and I am satisfied with that 50 lakhs profit, then I am going to continue with the other uh, detail planning. Okay, but if I want more profit, okay, 50 lakhs is not enough for me for the time spent as well as the investment spent of that particular project so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, replan my particular preliminary planning okay suppose uh, there were uh, first there were the only three stories now i'm building a five story apartment with the uh, three flats on the each uh, level okay so that the uh, uh, cost will be less and uh, the cost will be much more less and the benefit from that particular project will be higher so from this particular five story apartment and the three flats on each level i'm getting a uh, somewhat suppose i'm getting a hundred uh, lakhs profit okay so now uh, that particular profit i'm okay with that particular profit so i'm going to continue with that particular profit okay so after the uh, pre first uh, i'm going to pre-plan that projects and after pre-planning the project i'm going to calculate the approximate estimate and from that economic zone estimate i'm going to analyze what will be the cost or benefit and if i am satisfied with that particular cost and the benefits then i am going to continue with the projects and i'm going to start that particular projects okay after the start of that particular projects okay after the cost analysis is done i'm going to i'm going uh, <coughs> after the cost benefit analysis is done my decision is fixed then i'm going to uh, prepare a detailed plan okay detailed plan detail section detail elevation of that particular projects and i am going to do the detail estimate so based upon the uh, cost benefit uh, cost benefit analysis there will be a uh, two main uh, topics okay two main uh, sorry instrument are classified into the two main groups that is approximate estimate and detail estimates okay first is approximate estimate used for uh, analysis of the uh, cost benefit okay benefit cost ratio so that if uh, the investment is proper or not okay i'm uh, analyzing that from the approximate estimate and once the project is fixed okay i'm okay with my decision i'm finalizing the particular project then i'm going to go for the detail estimate remember that before finalizing the project i am not going to do any detail detail kind of the calculation i am going to just do the preliminary calculations okay that is approximate calculations okay so so again approximate estimate so let's see approximate estimate in details so obviously uh, approximate estimate is known as a preliminary estimate rough cost estimate average estimate or budget estimate just uh, remember these names okay uh, optional names okay some uh, in examination they might ask you what is mean by abstract estimate so at that point of, uh, at that point you should know abstract estimate is also known as a approximate estimate or approximate estimate is also known as abstract estimate okay so again obviously abs uh, approximate cost of the project based on the preliminary design obviously i already said you the uh, cost is uh, prepared based on the preliminary design okay i do not have a detailed plan of that particular building okay what will be the hall okay or where will be the column or what kind of the foundation i'm going to provide i do not have the detailed information i just have the preliminary information like uh, what will be the area of that particular building built up area of that particular building or carpet area of that particular building okay uh, prepared by comparing new project with the already built project with single obviously I, again i already said it is prepared by uh, referring the uh, uh, already built building okay previous building i have already built a uh, three or four buildings as a contract that i'm going to refer that building and from that building i'm going to uh, calculate the unit cost and multiply it with the unit cost a uh, unit of that particular uh, newly proposed building okay uh, again justify the amount to be invested okay obviously i already said uh, i already cleared that to you 
it's just selection from the alternative project side okay obviously now uh, i am a contractor as i have said i am building a, a particular projects at the shoe colony okay but uh, also there is a, a corona pandemic okay so many people who were uh, uh, agree to buy okay who were able to buy the uh, particular uh, apartment at the shoe colony do not have enough money now okay there is a recession in the construction field so the uh, profit i am getting from this particular project is less than the estimated profit okay i am getting just a profit of the 50 lakhs okay but if i also have a uh, <coughs> i also have the plot area okay or a, i also have the plot or land acquired at the south head point of sector okay which is uh, uh, at a distance from the city or which is uh, which is not a, a very much a popular area so at that point the cost of that particular construction will be less okay so the particular uh, people who were not able to buy the house at the shoe colony may buy the house at the saukeda cause the cost will be lesser at the here okay uh, there are many points uh, 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 in the construction of the building or cost of the building there are many other points okay like the taxation or other uh, things okay cost of the land so uh, only just the building cost is not there so other cost is also there so uh, uh, five story apartment at a show colony might cost higher than the five story same uh, same specification five story apartment of the south keda so people might buy the apartment at a particular side so i do not have to i will get a more profit okay i do not have to sell the particular uh, apartment for the racer margin okay i will uh, i will sell the particular apartments at the same margin i am selling, selling other apartments okay so in that case i have a two alternative options okay one is to build a uh, particular apartment at a show colony another is build a particular apartment at the saukeda so what i'm going to calculate the cost approximate cost of the show colony apartment as well as the uh, saukeda apartment and uh, uh, thereby i'm calculating the benefit from both of the apartment so whichever apartment is giving me the most profit or whichever building is going uh, give, um, giving me the most profit i'm going to invest in that particular project so approximate estimate is used for the two main purposes first is justifying the investment if i should part invest in the particular uh, building or not or particular projects or not or and other is a uh, selecting from the two alternative options okay if there are two options then it will be easy for me if i approximately uh, calculated the cost and thereby assessed the uh, risk factor okay so uh, remember this uh, there are two main purpose of the approximate estimates first is the amount to be invested and the selection of the <coughs> alternative sites okay next is the types of the approximate estimate now approximate is to depending upon our uh, preliminary information we have okay now uh, if only i have the plinth area of that particular project okay built up area of that particular project then i'm going to use the plinth area method okay but in addition to the plinth area i also have a cubical uh, sorry height of that particular building floor to floor height of that particular building then i am to use, uh, use the cubical content method okay okay i uh, i have information that i am going to build a five story apartment with a floor to floor height of 3 meter or 3.1 meter then i am going to use the cubical content method first that will be more accurate okay because i am considering plinth area as well as the height okay now i do not have a plinth area i do not have the height floor to flight i i only have the unit rate of that particular building okay uh, like in case of the hospital or a uh, <clears throat> hospital or a uh, hostel okay in case of the hostel i only uh, have one information that i have to accommodate 50 students okay other information are in, are in not hand okay i do not know the other information or i have not planned for the other information in that case i am going to use the unit rate uh, basis unit rate method or similarly other uh, the other methods are there we will see each in the details okay later on so uh, we will discuss that little so approximate estimate other uh, types are defined depending upon the information i have at the particular point okay so first is a plinth area estimate okay so first is a plinth area estimate so obviously uh, as the name suggests plinth area estimate uh, means i have the uh, particular plinth area okay i do not have the height of the building what will be the floor to floor height the height of that particular building or i do not have the other details okay i only have that uh, the uh, plinth area of that particular build be sh uh, building should be uh, 1000 square feet okay from that i have to calculate the approximate cost of the building okay
uh, just a minute. Okay, uh, I have to calculate the. So, what is meant by plinth area? I already give you out of dimension excluding the plinth offset. So, uh, let me uh, rephrase my question. What is meant by uh, what is the difference between plinth area and built up area? Answer in the comment box. What is the difference between plinth area and built up area? answer in the chat box okay and i'll send the answer to the all panelists okay i um, uh, will not be able to view each uh, student's question send it to the all panelists hello Plinth area is also built up area. Uh, so uh, my voice is clear or not? I am seeing uh, multiple questions here. Okay. I have not seen. First answer this. Uh, my voice is clear or not? Someone saying yes, sir. Someone saying no, sir. Okay, most of the saying is clear, sir. Okay. Clear. Okay, voice is clear. And some of you are uh, okay. Built up area, the plinth area of the coat, and yeah, plinth area for solid. Okay. There is no difference between plinth area and the built up area. Both are same. Okay, I'm not sure if uh, my voice is clear or not. Some are saying clear, some are saying not clear. So, okay, I'm going with, I'm carrying forward, okay. Maybe check your uh, network connection, some are saying clear. So, obviously, the voice is clear for them. Uh, maybe check your uh, network connection, okay. So, a plinth area and the carpet area, sorry, plinth area and the built-up area, both are the same, okay. Only uh, in some cases, the uh, sorry, built up area in case of the built up area, the plinth offset is considered okay. The only difference as per the IS in the plinth area and the uh, built up area is that the in case of the plinth area, the plinth offset are <coughs> plinth offset are avoided, in uh, whereas in case of the built up area, the plinth offset might be taken okay. It is not that it is always taken, it is not that the rule there, um, there may be possibilities, but it can be or may not be okay. It may or may not be taken okay. Anybody knows what is the uh, plinth, uh, <coughs> what is the IS score for the various types of the area, like a plinth area, built up area? What is the IS score for that? And say in the chat box, do you know? I scored. Okay, I don't think you will. Any of you will know. So uh, we will uh, carry forward. So obviously, uh, as I said, we are going to calculate the approximate cost of the building by multiplying the plinth area of the proposed building with the plinth area rate of the previous building. Okay, I have already built uh, another for three or four buildings. From that building, I am going to calculate the plinth area rate and multiply it with the plinth area of my proposed building okay so how i'm going to calculate the plinth area i'm going to take a reference building okay particular uh, reference building okay is3861 hope you have not googled that okay uh, you are not in front of me so i can't tell which one whatever the <laughs> okay so uh, whatever so, uh, plinth area, uh, how I'm going to calculate the uh, plinth area rate, I'm going to take a uh, particular reference building, okay? And uh, for that particular reference building, I'm going to cal uh, I'm, <coughs> I'm going to take the total cost of the building and divide it with the plinth area of that particular reference building. From that particular reference, uh, from that I will get the plinth area rate and I'm going to multiply it with the plinth area of my proposed building, okay? Now, the, uh, remember the most important point, the reference building, okay? 
the reference building uh, should have the similar specification height and construction and the locality as my proposed building okay okay if i am going to build a five story building then the particular building whichever i am going to uh, take as a reference building should also have five story okay or a four story or six stories okay it is not like i am going to be, uh, my proposed building is a five story i am going to take the uh, uh, reference building of a uh, hundred stories okay so it should have the similar height as well as specification also okay the five story building can be built for the 200 lakhs or 200 uh, crores okay so obviously the specification should be same uh, whatever the tiles i'm going to provide okay whatever the doors or windows okay not exactly the same it should be similar okay up to the certain point okay not exactly same it should be similar to date okay so uh, it should have similar specification height uh, also construction type of the construction okay if i'm building an rcc structure then my particular building should also have the rcc structure okay Pro reference building should also have been the uh, rc structure okay if my reference building is of uh, load bearing structure i am taking the uh, particular cost uh, unit cost of that particular building or plinth area rate from that building then the uh, proposed cost uh, uh, cost of the proposed building will be much lesser okay so uh, that is the main point we will see that again in the uh, later uh, numericals so how how we select the reference building okay we will see that in uh, details later okay so uh plinth area calculation obviously the is code is 3861 uh, one of you have answered that okay is code for the uh all the plinth area not plinth area calculation as per the is code uh is uh, 3861-1966 gives you the uh, definitions of the various uh, various plot areas okay plot area built up area carpet area all other super built up area i uh, 3861 if you have any time okay then read it for one time okay ekda vachun gya changla goda 3861 carpet area built up area but once you read the particular is you uh, all your confusions will be cleared okay all your doubts will be clear there will be no, no confusion okay so as per the high code yeah uh, this is important you should know what what is what areas are included and what areas are excluded in the is uh, sorry plinth area okay so first of all the area obviously uh, in case of the plinth area or built up area the area of the walls are uh, included okay without walls there will it will be the carpet area if you include the wall it will be the uh, built up area or plinth area okay now the second point is the internal shaft of the sanitary installation not exceeding two meters square lift and okay whatever the shafts we are going for the uh, we are living in the building for the construction of the lift or the ventilation purpose if the area of that particular shaft is less than two meters square okay remember this if the area is less than two meters square area means in the uh, developed plan area okay if the area of that particular duct is less than 2.2 uh, 2 meters square then we are going to include that particular area in the plinth area okay in the plinth area calculation but if it is 2.1 that is uh, greater than the 2 meters square then we are going to exclude that particular area from our plinth area calculations okay now again the area of the barsati at the terrace okay barsati adicha card banaycha apan barsati means it uh, water protected structure okay it is supposed to uh, protect us from the rain okay it doesn't have any uh, walls okay just there is a just shading shade of that particular uh, patra, uh, okay there is a steel shade okay or sheet steel uh, uh, there is a just a protective uh, stage for the uh, protect from the uh, rain okay uh, again porches of non cantilever type okay remember this if the porches are of the cantilever types okay so there is a no beam oh, sorry there is a no column in front of us or there is a no wall in front of them or uh, on the side walls there is only support at the uh, only one side from the four sides okay in that case we are going to include exclude that particular uh, pro, uh exclude that particular porch but if it is a non cantilever types means there are a support to more than uh, one side okay if there is support from the two side or there is support from the all four sides then we are going to include that particular porch in the uh, plinth area calculations again uh, areas to be excluded okay area of the logs again this a plus same okay if the two meters square it is uh, it will be uh, excluded 
Second is the unenclosed balcony. Okay, if the balcony we provide balconies on the particular building, if that balcony is enclosed, okay, means if there is a wall uh, to the other uh, all other three open sides of that particular balcony, then we are going to include it. But if it is, it is unenclosed, okay, means there is a no walls uh, to the uh, balcony, then we are going to exclude it. Same for the actual architecture band, whatever the architecture feature we are going to provide, we do not take that in the uh, clean the area calculation okay or other domes or power towers projecting above the terrace level okay if there are the chimneys are there okay which are projecting above the um, uh, terrace level then we are going to exclude that from the calculations okay again blocks levers vertical sunbreakers obviously whatever the uh, again uh, this is includes uh, whatever the particular <coughs> Vertical sun we are going to provide. Okay, the Barsati is horizontal. Remember that uh, uh, whatever the sun breakers or box levels are the same, they are protective covers. But Barsati is a vert uh, horizontal, whereas the box levels and sun breakers are verticals. Okay, so we are going to exclude that. Okay, uh, now we are going to start with the numericals. So, everyone should have their notebook and pen ready with them okay please answer s yes if you are if you do have the uh, notebook and uh, pen ready with you we are going to solve this particular numerical okay yes 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 okay also uh, be ready with the calculator we have to do ca some calculations Okay, I have calculator with you. We are going to because okay. I do not have the answers for them. Okay, you have to calculate and uh, then we will talk about that. Okay. So uh, note down the particular example. I will uh, I'll speak it for for you. Okay, so first uh, example number one on the uh, plinth area uh, method, prepare an approximate estimate of the building projects with a total plinth area of uh, all building 800 square meter from the following data. Okay, so our proposed uh, area of our proposed building is 800 square meter. Okay, this note down area of the particular building is 800 square meter. So again, plinth area rate. Uh, rupees uh, 4500 per, per square meter okay the plinth area rate from the reference building we have already given uh, that particular rate that is a 4500 per square meter sorry so the cost of the water supply okay again um, uh, the uh, plinth area rate includes only the cost of the building that is cost of the materials and labels okay but in addition to that we are we have to provide various uh, uh, services like water supply electrification so in case of the approximate estimate we also have to consider uh, them okay we also have to take a point note of them so uh, we do not again we do not take a uh, um, calculations uh, in depth okay we just have a percentage of the particular building cost okay so uh, what are the services we are going to provide we have to take that percentage from the uh, building cost okay the first is the cost of the water uh, supply at 7.5 percent of the uh, cost of the building there is a cost of the uh, sanitary and electrical installations each at 7.5% of the cost of the building means cost of the sanitary will be 7.5% and electrical installation will be 7.5% okay adding them it will give the 15% uh, totals okay cost of the architecture feature is 1% of the building cost cost of the road and lawns is 5% of the building cost uh, cost of the ps and contingency is 4% of the overall cost and the cost of the supervision is 8 percent okay Water supply, you know, okay, we have to provide a water supply for the particular project. Sanitary and electrification, again, uh, we have to provide sanitary installations, okay, or, or WC bath, okay, in WC bath, electric installation, again, uh, we have to electrify the particular building, okay, so that you know. Architecture features, again, if you are going to provide uh, some architecture features like cornice or other things, then uh, also we have to take that into consideration. Uh, now, the cost of the roads and down, okay, if uh, my particular site is away from the Four six zero zero. Okay. Uh, okay. 
let's say first uh, cost of the roads and lawns okay if uh, my particular site is away from the uh, municipality roads then i have to provide an approach road from the municipality road to the my site so that all the construction activities so that i will have I have the access to the uh, municipality road okay uh, now the ps and contingencies okay mm. contingencies means uh, particular ps and contingencies uh, is a uh, first is a ps that is a pending service and the uh, contingencies okay ps means pending services and contingencies okay we will discuss them in the latter first uh, we will have the approaching third chapter okay we will discuss that in later but uh, let me tell you some a brief discussion okay contingencies mean the, there are certain items okay which are not known to us at the point of the preparing estimates okay and uh, there are uh, construction project is a uh, very big projects okay from time to time there will be a many uh, small cost okay many petty expenditures or there might be the minor design changes okay so uh, as our particular project changes or as a uh, pretty uh, uh, various petty charges are being uh, made then we cannot uh, do uh, revise estimate at every point uh, at every point of the petty expenditure okay manje ska fakt 1200 rupya sathi apan 15 lakh cha particular je kai estimate ahe te revise nahi karu shakat okay so to avoid that particular uh, situation what we do we provide a certain amount uh, certain amount or certain percentage from our cost for that all of the minor design changes or all the petty expenditure which cannot be classified under a certain uh, item of the work we provide a particular amount for all of that uh, instead okay we will say that in a later uh, in details in the next chapter okay so don't worry about that so first building cost okay so first will be the cost of the building i already told you cost of the building equals to plinth area multiplied by plinth area rate so cost will be uh, we have the plinth area of 800 meter square multiplied with the plinth area rate that is 4500 meter square sorry 4500 rupees 4500 per meter square so what is the cost what is the building cost okay i have received it only okay four eight six zero zero three six six three six three six three six three six three six okay uh, remember your attendance is considered based upon your chart okay i do have the all of the attendance okay auto recorded which one is coming how much time you have spent on that particular app okay this is all re auto recorded in the app okay that's why i'm not taking your attendance i will review that particular session as well as your chat session okay so or so who is going to answer or who is not okay I will know that particular session okay so 3600 sorry uh, 36 lakhs so the cost of the building uh, comes to 36 uh, cost of the building comes to 36 lakhs okay now as uh, uh, as uh, in our uh, numerical okay we are uh, we have already they have mentioned that the cost of the water supply sanitary architecture feature and road and lawn should be taken on the cost of the building okay remember that these all fours are the services okay these are the services we are going to provide so remember that the cost of the services is taken on cost of the building okay whatever percentage is given we are going to calculate that percentage on the cost of the building that is the building cost okay so from, from our first uh, step the building cost is 36,000 so cost second step will be the cost of the services second step will be the cost of the services so we are going to calculate the cost so first is the cost of the water supply that is the 7.5 percent so 7.5 multiplied uh, 7.5 divided by 100 that is the percentage multiplied by 36 lakhs okay similarly cost of the sanitary and electrical installation cost of the architecture features and the cost of the road and lawns okay these four are the services okay uh, if in the example it is not given okay in our previous example it was given that the cost should be taken 
okay the cost should be taken on the cost of the building okay but in some cases in the exam if the exam uh, sorry in the example if that it is not that particular amount is not given or that particular thing is not mentioned then the cost of uh, remember that the cost of the services is should be taken on the cost of the building okay cost of the services we always take the cost of the services on the percentage of the cost of the building okay so answer plain answer एकत्र दया सर्वे आंसर कॉस्ट ऑफ द वॉटर सप्लाई सैनिटरी प्रत्येक लाइन मे दून टाइम ओके टू थाउज सेवी कॉस्ट ऑफ द वॉटर सप्लाय कैलक्युलेट कॉस्ट ऑफ द इच ऑफ दिस Remember that here we have taken the fifteen percent cost. Uh, we are uh, in that uh, uh, numerical. It is mentioned that uh, the cost of the sanitary and electrical installation seven point five percent each. So seven point five plus seven point five. That's come fifteen percent. Okay, so fifteen divided by hundred. Okay. Okay, the answers are two seventy five forty. Okay, most of you have answered the questions. Okay, see, chopan na kuto na yung ayaw mo cost us sa chatis talaga. Okay, ah, uh, remember this silly mistake might happen in the exam. Okay. If you put an extra zero in front of the question, okay, in front of the answer, it might change your whole answer. Okay, so uh, remember to cross verify your answers. Okay, so now, okay. <clears throat> so cost of the water supply is two seventy. Cost of the Sanitary installation is five forty. Cost of the architecture suite is thirty six thousand, and cost of the roads and lawn is one lakh eighty one lakh eighty thousand. Okay. So next uh, next step is overall cost. Okay. Now we are going to add the building cost with service cost. Okay. Remember we have two other uh, other cost uh, remaining. Okay. We have cost of the PS and cost of the supervisions, but this both cost are given on the overall cost so what is our overall cost overall cost is a cost of services plus cost of the building okay so we are going to calculate the overall cost overall cost equals to building cost plus co service cost so building cost uh, our building cost was 36000 uh, sorry 36 lakhs okay then uh, there is a water supply charges that is a 270 then uh, sanitary and uh, water installation that is 540 then there is a architecture feature that is 36000 uh, and then there is a road and loss 180000 okay so the overall cost comes to again okay let's see if you answer Overall cost four six uh forty six lakh twenty six thousand forty six lakh twenty six thousand okay calculate the overall cost okay overall cost equals to building cost plus service cost okay remember that so the overall cost is forty six thousand uh sorry forty six lakhs or uh, twenty six thousand okay. Now, as I give as given in the particular example, okay, or as mentioned in the particular example, the cost of the PS and contingencies and cost of the super villain should be taken on the overall cost. That is forty six lakh twenty six thousand. So again, uh, contingencies is four four uh, percent, and the uh, cost of the super villain is eight percent. Okay. Again, remember that if not mentioned in the particular example, the cost of the contingencies and cost of the super villain should always be taken on the Overall cost, okay. Remember this particular uh, situation, okay. 
cost of the services should always be taken on the building cost and the cost of the supervision and the contingent should always be taken on the overall cost okay if even if it is not given in the numerical you should follow this procedure okay this is a standard procedure okay So again, uh, next is the total cost will be overall cost plus cost of the contingencies plus the supervision cost. Okay. So calculate overall cost. Uh, we already calculated. Okay. We already have. Cross check the answer. If the answer is correct, 51 lakh uh, 81,120. Okay. Cross check it. Total cost will be overall cost. That is the overall cost is the cost of the building plus cost of the services plus cost of the contingencies plus cost of the supervision. This adding of this particular all of these things will give you the total cost of the proposed building. Okay. Alag answer. Fifty one eighty one one twenty. Okay, uh, contingencies manje baga uh, me particular amount side lat hunde do. Okay, uh, kahi particular cost asta je uh, kuch particular cost ise hote hai jo mujhe abhi malum nahi hai. Okay, uh, uh, construction project is a big project. Okay, there might be a some minor cost. Okay. म्हणजे समजा माझा 15 लाखाचा प्रोजेक्ट असला तर काही वेळेस असं होतं की 200 300 रुपयाची वस्तू मला वेळेवरती घ्यावी लागते ओके किंवा देयर आर मायनर चेंजेस ओके मी एखाद्या वेळेस काय करतो पर्टिक्युलर समजा माझी कंपाउंड एक पर्टिक्युलर रूम आहे त्याचं मी सिमेंटचं प्रोपोर्शन चेंज करून देतो प्लास्टर मी 1 as to 3 न करता 1 as to 2 करून देतो किंवा 1 as to 4 न करता 1 as to 3 करून देतो त्यामुळे तो पर्टिक्युलर कॉस्ट इन्क्रीज होतो पण but uh, that particular cost is very less okay QQ cost compared to our total 20 lakhs that cost is very less so it is not uh, advisable to change my estimate okay remember that every cost should be taken from that particular uh, department or the uh, owner okay if I'm a contractor I have to collect every charges okay okay जर मी कॉन्ट्रॅक्टर असेल तर मला कोणती छोट्या ते छोटे अमाउंट मला पर्टिक्युलर कॉन्ट्रॅक्ट ओनर किंवा डिपार्टमेंट पासून कलेक्ट करायचे सो जर असं काही चेंजेस झाले एनी मायनर चेंजेस झाले और देयर आर सम अदर मायनर कॉस्ट ओके और पेटी चार्जेस व्हिच इंक्लूड व्हिच इंक्लूडेड इन द लेटर वर्जन ओके आफ्टर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द एस्टीमेट सो फॉर दैट व्हाट आई डू आई प्रोवाइड अ सर्टेन अमाउंट त्याच्यासाठी मी काय करतो की 50000 बाजूला ठेवून घेतो 20 लाखाचा प्रोजेक्ट असेल 50000 बाजूला ठेवून घेतो त्या 50000 मध्ये हे जी काही सर्वे अमाउंट असेल ओके व्हाटएवर द एक्स्ट्रा चार्जेस और व्हाटएवर द मायनर चार्जेस गोइंग टू अकर इन द पर्टिक्युलर प्रोजेक्ट्स I uh, include that in the Panas that the Panas that me servo karse karun ye to. And is it the Panas that piksha worth is a particular minor cost or gale? Okay. J apla estimate chabed is might no te. Jobi cost a me estimate ke time pe malum nahi te. Wo cost agar pacha sazar jo amara particular contingency skill hamne raka. Uske upar agar jate. To fir am revise estimate bante banate. Lekin agar wo particular cost agar 50 agar hum to 40,000 si lage. After the commission of the project, then we do not uh, make the revised estimate. Okay, so remember that we always uh, this is the approximate estimate. So we are going the uh, contingencies, but in case of the detailed estimate, the estimate should be as accurate as possible. So the final cost. Okay, as I give you, detailed estimate, but only 40 lakh has. And you are worth worth worth. You have 50 lakh dalle, or 60 lakh dalle. The estimate should be accurate. Okay, there should not be big difference. If the project is of 40 lakhs, then maximum allow, allowable limit is uh, 41 lakhs or 42 lakhs. Okay, estimate should not uh, <coughs> exceed the particular amount. Okay, should be within the limit. It should be as much as accurate as possible. Okay. So here is the end of the eight. ओके फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल गेटले हॅपन ओके अजून यामध्ये आणि अनेक न्यूमेरिकल्स आहे डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द वेरियस इन्फॉर्मेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द पर्टिकुलर न्यूमेरिकल्स लेटर ओके इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस प्लीज पुट अप इन द चॅट बॉक्स सो वी कॅन आई कॅन आन्सर इट आल्सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेक्शन आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेक्शन आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड अ लिंक टू द गूगल फॉर्म ओके फॉर द आवर फर्स्ट वीकली क्विज
okay if you have any questions about the today's lecture please uh, put up in, in the chat box so that i can answer it and send it to the all panelists okay don't just send it to one panelist i will not be able to see or view that particular session okay send it to the all panelists if you are send me a personal message please send it to the, the all panelists so that i can view that particular message okay chat with all panelists there will be the option at the particular uh, webex app okay provides uh, some more okay this is our first lecture and first numerical okay uh, this is a very simple numerical actually we have more uh, tedious numericals in this particular session okay we are going to take each uh, numericals and uh, also we are, i'm going to provide a numericals for the practice okay so don't worry about that this is just a first lecture so uh, sorry this is just the first uh, numerical so it is a kind of easy we'll see a more hard or a, some complicated examples in the later questions okay or, or later sessions okay so let's uh, share question and solution on the classroom app okay that's why i'm telling you to uh, take a notebook and pen with you okay if i'm going to provide all of you in a ready made mode then what you are going to provide okay. what you are going to do okay this is not a classroom so i can't uh, actually assess what you are doing or what you are not doing okay you might be sitting or you might be sleeping so that is why i'm uh, pro uh, that is why i am letting you to solve that particular question and put up in answers in the chat box so that i can assess if someone is uh, really interested in someone is really paying attention to their particular lecture okay because i do not have any tools to access your attention in the online class sir the value of the service cost is fixed okay uh, this particular percentage is fixed okay uh, like uh, 7.5 percent so uh, this are not means fixed there is a range for them like for the water supply the cost will be 6 to 8 percent for the electricity there will be 7 to 8 percent okay these are just fixed uh, they are uh, taken from the previous uh, our previous knowledge okay they are not fixed but there is a range for them like your uh, I will not take the cost of the water supply as a 15%, okay? It should be within the range of the 6 to 8%, okay? I will not take just um, randomly anything, okay? Similarly, for the architecture features and other things, okay? Uh, for contingency, it is 3 to 4%. For supervision, again, it is 7 to 8%, okay? This might change depending upon the example, but it should not be much greater, okay? Like, I do not take the contingency at 10%, okay? That should be within 3 to 4% range, okay? So they are, uh, of course, they are fixed. There is a range for them. Okay, I will uh, obviously send you the range for that. Okay, so please repeat the point of contingency. Okay, um, this uh, do not take that particular in the particular point in seriously. Okay, uh, we will discuss that for contingency and the supervision. All of this point in the detail in the particular uh, next sessions. Okay, next session we have a special session for the all the definitions and. We have in-depth uh, uh, discussion on the contingencies in the latter sessions, okay? Just remember, for now, just remember, contingencies are the sur uh, surplus amount provided for the all the petty expenditures which cannot be um, seen or foreseen at the particular, uh, at the time of the preparation of the estimate, okay? Jo bhi cost hum foreseen nahi kar sakte. Matlab, achanak se jo bhi aa jati hai, usko ek particular amount ab side mein rakh dete hai, usko hum contingency bolte hai. Itna se bhi yaad rakho, इसके इसके ऊपर हम डिस्कशन प्रॉपर डिस्कशन अगेन आगे हम करने वाले हैं आगे हमारा स्पेशल चैप्टर है जिसमें हमको डिपार्टमेंटल प्रोसीजर है उसमें सब ये डिटेल में पढ़ने वाले हैं ओके अदर मेनी चार्जेस आर देयर वर्क चैलेंज एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ओके टेक्निकल सैंक्शन मेनी पॉइंट्स आर देयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट्स इन द लेटर सेशन ओके व्हाई वी आर टेकिंग पीएस एंड कंटिन्यूस सुपरविजंस कॉस्ट सेपरेटली नॉट इन ओवरऑल कॉस्ट ओके रिमेंबर ओके as per as the contingency is considered okay or a uh, supervision is considered okay supervision will not be only limited to the um, just a minute okay supervision will not be limited to just uh, building cost okay construction of the building we also have to provide supervision for the uh, construction of the road or providers of the architecture feature similarly for the sanitary and uh, installation so supervision charges should be taken on the overall charges that is the construction of the uh, building cost as well as the uh, services charge cause we are going to provide supervision for the services also 
okay that's why we are going uh, we are taking the particular uh, uh, cost on the uh, supervision cost on the overall cost cost we are going to provide supervision for the uh, so services as low it will not be limited only for the uh, building cost okay similarly contingencies are uh, similar way contingencies will not be uh, limited for the building cost fakta tumcha construction site tumche contingency limited ranar nahi okay uh, contingencies means ka ptx expenditure tumche water uh, installation cha vede suddha yeu shakta kiwa electrical installation cha vede suddha yeu shakta that's why contingencies and uh, supervisions are taken on the overall cost cost in the, uh, uh, the they might offer in the um, building cost as well as the uh, uh, services installation okay construction of the building as well as the installation of the services they might occur in the both cases that why that's why we are taking the particular cost on the overall cost okay uh, any other questions okay value of supervision which ओके सुपरविजन मीन्स युअर ओन तुम पेमेंट ओके जे का पेमेंट करना तुम्हारा एज अ सुपरवाइजर तुम्हें इंजीनियर एज अ सुपरवाइजर तुम्हें रिक्रूट होना सो दैट कॉस्ट इज अ सुपरविजन चार्जेस ओके वॉट एवर द कॉस्ट वी आर गोइंग टू पे फॉर द सुपरविजन ऑफ दट पर्टिक्युलर प्रोजेक्ट ओके टू द सुपरवाइजर टू द ओके पर्टिक्युलर समझा तुम स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियर अल तो तुम सुपरवाइज कराला ये कि पर्टिक्युलर वॉट एवर द बार्स वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड इन द पर्टिक्युलर सेक्शन इफ दैट आर इंस्टॉल्ड इन द प्रॉपर वे और वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ साइट साइट सुपरवाइजर ओके साइट इंजीनियर हु इज गोइंग टू टेक अ क्वालिटी कंट्रोल ओके टेक अ सुपरवाइज अ क्वालिटी कंट्रोल इफ द पर्टिक्युलर सेक्शन इज Yes, that what uh, that was supervisor do. You are site engineer. You are supervisor of that particular building. So what you you do, you uh, you are responsibility of that particular site. So you manage all the particular labors. Okay, what is the work done on that particular site? What is if the particular materials which are being mixed or what? What are the uh, procedure is being followed? If it is a correct or not? If whatever building we are building, or whatever the wall we are building, or whatever the construction is going, if, if that particular construction is as accordingly with the uh, developed plan of engineer drawings, okay? Hey, sir, what do you say, engineer? Book, so that some particular plan, which is high, that you have properly, proper high, that is, so that some engineering drawing, that is high, developed plan, that is high, that is, you construct that high, that is, okay? Which is the procedure follow, that is, that is, okay? जी कहीं लेबर है तो प्रॉपरली एम्प्लॉयड है का ओके समझा जी कहीं तुम्हें टाइमलाइन ऑफ दट पर्टिक्युलर प्रोजेक्ट है कि तुम्हारा चार महीन पर्टिक्युलर प्रोजेक्ट कंस्ट्रक्ट कराए तो तो प्रॉपरली फॉलो होता है का ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग आई डन बाय द सुपरवाइजर ओके व्हाट इज अ प्लेन तेरी आर एड आर एड इट एल डू Plane area right is the cost of the reference building divided by the plane area of the reference building. Okay. तुम ही कौन था ही contractor करे जाल तो तलाश तो तुम ही मतलब कि माला building कस्टम कराई चाहिए तो तो विचार तो कि तुम माला ठीक है तुम सा build up area की देखो carpet area की देखो तेरा particular carpet area हो रहा है तो क्या करतो तुम माला cost आन तो क्या ठीक है दो इंच square feet आएगा सात इंच square feet आएगा सात लाख रुपए लाख तीन लाख से top से लाख Okay, so that is uh, how how we calculated. He uh, he takes your particular uh, square foot area and multiplied with the prevailing rate. Okay, समझा आता particular जो है तुमसे I think RCC जो तुमसे समझा पंद्रह सौ रुपए per square foot rate चालू आए तो सात सौ परन्तु उधर खाली है ते but general for the first class building the rate for the RCC structure is fifteen hundred uh, per square foot. Okay. so that uh, cost that particular plain area rate is calculated from the cost of the uh, previous building okay me kay karto tya charge apan problem giu teva tumhala ajun detail madhe samjhalo okay this remember that the plain area is calculated from the cost of the reference building okay okay any other questions as for the place or location of the construction plain Yes, absolutely. The plain area rate changes as the locality changes. That that is what I am saying. The plain area rate is a cost is a calculated from the cost of the reference building. And how do we select the reference building? We select the building having the similar specification, height, construction, and locality. Okay. So if I am uh, uh, considering the reference building from the show, I am building the uh, proposed building is from the show colony, then or a Jalgaon area, then I am going to take a plain area rate of the reference from the reference building in the build uh, Jalgaon area. Okay, 
असं नाही की मी शोगानीमध्ये बिल्डिंग घेणार आणि जी काही तुम्ही माझी रेफरन्स बिल्डिंग आहे ती जी फार दुड्याला आहे असं नाही चालणार ओके द रेफरन्स बिल्डिंग शुड बी इन द सेम लोकॅलिटी आय रेडी डोल यू द बिल्डिंग रेफरन्स बिल्डिंग वी कॅल्क्युलेट द प्लिन एरिया रेट फ्रॉम द रेफरन्स बिल्डिंग अँड द रेफरन्स बिल्डिंग शुड हॅव द सिमिलर स्पेसिफिकेशन हाईट कन्स्ट्रक्शन अँड द लोकॅलिटी ओके रिमेंबर दिस पॉईंट ओके प्लिन एरिया रेट चेंजेस ॲज द लोकॅलिटी चेंजेस ओके सो the we should take uh, cause print uh, area is dependent upon the reference building a reference building is dependent upon the having the same similar specification height okay as uh, my lock on print area changes okay please tell more about the carpet area the carpet area baddal kay sangu raja me tuma okay raja idhe bhi asal okay he more her कार्पेट एरिया यू ऑलरेडी नो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द कार्पेट एरिया वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड अपॉन द कार्पेट एरिया ओके इन सम केसेस द वी डू नॉट हॅव द ओके समजा एखाद्या वेळेस काय होते माझ्याकडे पर्टिक्युलर प्लॉट एरिया असतो बट बिल्टअप एरिया नसतो फक्त मला माहीत असते की मला टू बी एच के घर पाहिजे ओके इन दॅट टू बी एच के हॉल शुड बी ऑफ दिस दिस साईड किचन शुड बी ऑफ दॅट दॅट साईड ओके I only have this this preliminary information, so I have to take additional uh, other areas like uh, for calculating the plane area. I have to take the wall area also. Okay, so we will have a particular one numerical on that particular uh, problem. Okay, well we have only given the carpet area. Okay, from that we are going to calculate the plane area, and from that plane area we are again going to calculate the cost of that particular building. Okay. Any other questions? ओके अगेन इफ यू आर इफ यू कॉन्ट सेंड पर्टिक्युलर क्वेश्चन इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर चैट बॉक्स और देर आर माइट बी सम क्वेश्चन विच इच यू मिस एट दट पर्टिक्युलर सेशन यू कैन सेंड दट पर्टिक्युलर क्वेश्चन ऑन टू मी ऑन व्हाट्सएप और ऑन द गुगल क्लासरूम ओके फील फ्री टू कॉन्टैक्ट मी एनी टाइम ऑन फॉर एनी टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ओके ओके आय थिंक नो वन हॅज एनी अदर क्वेश्चन सो ॲज अवर क्लास एम्स आय एम गोइंग टू सेंड अ लिंक फॉर द क्विज सेशन यू शू फॉर क्विज हॅव ॲट लिस्ट ट्वेन आय थिंक टेन क्वेश्चन सबमिट द क्विज विदिन द टेन मिनिट्स द क्विज लिंक विल ओनली ओपन फॉर द टेन मिनिट्स ओके रिमेंबर दॅट इफ यू आर अनएबल टू सेंड सबमिट दॅट पर्टिक्युलर क्विज विदिन द टेन मिनिट्स आय विल नॉट बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दॅट ओके इफ यू आर जस्ट रिमेंबर दॅट ओके द क्विज विल विल ओनली बी ओपन फॉर द टेन मिनिट्स ओके सो आय विल एंड द सेशन इफ यू हॅव एनी प्रॉब्लेम्स यू कॅन कॉन्टॅक्ट मी ऑन द व्हॉट्सॲप ऑर गुगल क्लासेस ओके थँक्यू